This is Ash from Trend Chaos here today with the ages for the iPad 2. On the side here we can see the five color options. We can feel the case here, and we can scan the QR code that will take you to our website here. The Aegis does come with a screen protector. Let's take it out. Just open the top and the Aegis slides right out. Here we are, the Aegis. Here's the back of it. To take it apart, remove the silicone from the top right corner. From there, you can remove the polycarbonate and set it aside for now. Next, peel back the silicone and remove the insert. Inside the insert, you'll find instructions and an application card, an iPad screen protector, and a soft screen cloth. We can set all this aside for now. Grab the polycarbonate and remove the protective tape. The polycarbonate has a soft finish, is light and strong. The silicone is flexible like the polycarbonate and it has a soft finish. It is also ribbed on the side to provide extra grip when holding the iPad. Let's apply the screen protector. First, you'll need your nice, clean, and dry iPad. The included screen cloth will help make sure the iPad screen is as clean as possible before installation. So give your screen a good cleaning as I do here. Once you're done, grab the application card. We'll use this to make sure there are no bubbles as we put on the screen protector. Note how the screen has a red and green tab. The green tab is labeled number one and the red tab is labeled number two. And we'll get to that later. First, let's pull the green tab and remove the first layer of protective film. Just peel back about an inch from the labeled side. Now align it with the iPad face down so the adhesive will stick onto the iPad screen. Next, grab the application card and start smoothing the screen protector on. From there, simply pull the screen protector film away as you smooth it onto the iPad. Be sure to push the screen protector down as you slide the cover off as this will greatly reduce the chance that the bubbles will appear. If you do happen to see a bubble, take a second and work it out before moving on. Once you get to the end, just set the screen protector film aside and work out any last bubbles you see with the application card, as I do here. When you're finished, grab the red tab and gently pull it off. Now we have a nice, protected, and bubble-free iPad screen. You can see that it has no bubbles and almost looks as if nothing is even there. Now our screen protector is installed, we can finish putting it into the case. It's easiest if you start from the top corner as I do here. From there you can work it all around until it is sitting snug into the silicone. The silicone is specially treated to grip the iPad on the inside. Now
Now that it's all aligned, we can grab the polycarbonate. It's easiest if you start from the top right corner. From there, work in the top and over to the left side. Now that we have all the sides in, it's just a few more adjustments until we're finished. To access the lock, simply remove the protective silicone. When you're finished, simply cover it back up again. The audio jack is also protected by silicone. When you're finished, cover it back up again, protecting it from dust and debris. The front facing camera is inset and protected from impacts by the silicone. The power button is very easy to press and the touch screen is super responsive as well. The volume rocker is soft to the touch and functions perfectly. When you want to dock your case, you can simply remove the kickstand from the bottom of the case like so. Snap in the support and you're good to go. The kickstand not only serves as an opening so you can dock your case, but as a stand to hold the iPad vertically for hands-free use. When you're finished, simply remove the support and snap it back into the iPad. That's it for the ages for the iPad 2. Thanks for watching.